Welcome back once again, uh, Bluegrass Baptist School teachers. This is your old buddy, Mr. Ellis, uh, here to talk to you today about how to do a couple other things in Sycamore. Um, one of the things that we uh, talked about before uh, uh, concerning um, one of the main things that teachers are always interested in is uh, blogging. They want to know how to use a blog, and of course, Sycamore has its own blog within the um, actual software itself or system, whichever way you want to look at this. And uh, on this particular platform, uh, there is a blogging section. And if you go down to here, once again, uh, My Resources is what we're looking for right here, My Resources. So we click on My Resources, and you'll notice My News. You can put your news in there, My Blog, My Photos, and so forth, okay? So we'll just go with the blog first, because this is what some people were interested in. They may want to leave messages for parents or whatever. Um, and uh, in order, this is one that I've already done once before. I put it in here. I'm going to show you how to do the whole procedure. Uh, in order to access something that you've already done, you can either click here. Well, actually, uh, this is the editor, and this is your regular standard uh, word processor editor. Or you can actually see what you wrote by clicking on there. All right. And you can add, just like any other thing, you can add your own links or whatever you want to. Okay. Up here, you can either delete it or leave a comment or whatever on there. Okay. That takes you, and that thing that said blog, blog list takes you back to this point. Okay, so here we are. We're back at the screen on blogging. And to order to create a new blog post, all, all you have to do is go up to this little blue tab here, and you'll see it says new blog. All right. So you're in your blog and you want to create a new, you want to do a new blog post. And in your subject area, now a lot of you teachers have already done this, but you need to put a um, subject area on here. So that's what we're going to do. And as you know, blogs are great places to, I don't know, gossip about other people. Uh, so we will create a nice gossip here. The principal has a hair has a hair. H-A-I-I-R. Okay. The principal has a hair. We'll use that as a subject. Then I ought to get people interested enough to look at it. And we can put the principal has a hair up his nose. There we go. And uh, you could go on and write more things about the hairs up his nose, blah, 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 you know, and he did this to me, and I did that to him. And after you're done with all of that, now remember, of course, you could do a lot of different things here. You can add bold to this, just like a regular word processor. If you want to add a link to something, great, like a great website, you could do that. All you got to do is go up here uh, to where the little linky thing is, wherever that is. Let's see here. There's the link. Link. And you can type in whatever URLs is where you put the address in. So TDP www.illustrations.com. And you hit OK. And there you've got a link. And if somebody comes along and clicks on that, uh, it will uh, take them to the site. Okay, so once you're done with that, now remember you have to expand the window just like in the other ones, otherwise you won't get to this. took me forever to figure that out when the first time I did a blog post. And you click Save. And there it is. principal has a hair, and if you want to read it, now if you want to edit it, you click on that link. However, if you want to just see what it looks like, you click on that link. Okay? And here's the link that I created before. See if it works. Like this. Okay, and you can set it to where it opens up outside of second world. Open up a whole new window, window if you can, um, but most of you probably won't do that anyway, and it doesn't really matter. So there you go. You can uh, reference other websites through Sycamore. That's pretty cool, like that. Okay, so uh, once again, now if we don't like uh, Mr. Wainwright sees us and he doesn't like it, I've got to delete it, right? So we'll go here. You notice principal has a hair, and then you can hit. He probably is going to add a comment to this saying, get rid of this, and I will go, yes, sir, and hit delete, and OK. And as you can see, it's gone. So that's how you set up a blog and use it on um, uh, Sycamore. 
Okay, now we're going to show you how to set up photographs and put them into this, uh, into your uh, Sycamore uh, page. And uh, these pictures can be used for just about anything. So we are going to create a new album now. What I mean by you can, they can be used for anything. You can actually have photos of yourself next to your assignments, so your students can see it. Uh, you can share pictures with your students, with parents, uh, so forth. So there's a lot of reasons to have uh, some of your pictures in here. Uh, okay. Uh, now, what you want to do is you want to go over create an album. And so anyway, uh, Mr. E L L Mr. Ellis and comments, uh, photos. Okay, something like that. Now, of course, you have to expand the window again. Hit submit. Okay, so now you have an album, but you want to add pictures to it. So you click on that. Oh, by the way, if, and this little link here shows you how to go back to the photo albums. If you don't want to see the thumbnails, which are these squares, uh, what you can do is look at the list, and that will open it up as well. So either way, you can go back and uh, you can do it either by go to the photo album by list or by thumbnail. Okay, so we were originally on the thumbnail, so here we go. So now we're going to add a photograph. So all you have to do is uh, you're in the photo album, you're at the first page picture. Now you're going to upload a photograph. And basically you click on that link up there. It opens a window. Click on this link up here. This opens up this window, and now you hit Browse. S now this is for somewhere on your computer. You have hard drives, and sometimes they have pictures of yourself on there. And you got to know where you store them at. In my case, mine is these are these are my. This is not the Sycamore site now. This is my hard drive, and I'm in my own personal area where I know my pictures are on my computer. And here's what I'm going to use. So I open that up and hit Title. And then right here we have to expand the window again in order to use the buttons as I showed you in previous videos. Upload. There it is. Now once you've uploaded this, so you've now got the picture into Sycamore, you can do a bunch of different things. In this case you can email it to somebody with a personal message on there. So say you are going to email a parent, you want them to see your face with your email, you could do that. Just put their email address there. That's a real good selling point with me because, uh, you know, parents see me I look so good, right? Uh, okay, and then, uh, or, click on this little house thing, and you can have all of your uh, picture your picture put next to your each class that you have on Sycamore. So that's another cool thing. So you have to click those little links there for the ones you want. Once again, you have to expand the window. Hit update. It's okay. So all of those have it. And let's see here. Close out this window. Or you can delete the picture, but I don't know why anybody would want to delete a picture like that. But okay, so you could delete a picture here if you want to. And right here is the information about the picture, all you need to know. Okay, so you've uploaded your own pictures to uh, the Sycamore site. You can use it for different things. Now, if you want to uh, not only delete the uh, uh, picture, but you want to delete the whole album. Okay, uh, there is a way to do that. Um, there is a way to uh, delete your album, but you have to delete all of your pictures first. So once you delete your pictures, uh, your album title. Um, Actually, yeah, right here you have a picture. It says delete. You can delete your picture there or use the trash can. And then once you've done that, uh, you'll have the same option over here. It'll have a little piece of paper there, and you could delete it through that way. Delete the whole entire photo album uh, if you want to. Same thing here. It'll have it in, in an area where you can get to it. Uh, that's if you want to delete the whole album. Okay. Well, this has been Mark Ellis with Bluegrass Baptist School and uh, Sycamore Training Video Number 5. Uh, God bless and have a great day. Kick Ellis! <laughs>